I'm going to teach you how to sell your home on your own and avoid having to pay any real estate commissions. Hey everyone, I'm Brett Johnson. I'm with Realty Network Group at Realty Executives. And in this video, I'm going to give away a few secrets and actually share with you what exactly I would do if I were going to sell my home without hiring a real estate agent. So the first thing that I would do is I make sure I'd fix up all of the homes so that it positions itself for the marketplace and get the most amount of money. Things like curb appeal, lighting, paint colors, even staging can go a long way in making the home stand out from the competition and capturing the attention of the limited buyers in the area at any given point. Now be sure to check out what other homes for sale in the neighborhood have to offer as well and avoid over improving your home for the neighborhood. This can be a word of caution. Now the second thing is you want to make sure you price correctly and do your research when pricing. So figure out a strategy because you're going to have to back it up for buyers when they ask and they're interested in your home. You want to start by doing research on the county assessor records and look at all of the past sales. Take into consideration the features of your home and adjust your price based on similarities and the differences between these properties. Now, additionally, you'll want to make adjustments based on market conditions that differ now maybe compared to when those other homes were sold. For example, a higher interest rates of today, it might be more difficult for buyers to afford homes even at the same price as last year. So you may need to make incentives for buyers to have lower interest rates as opposed to simply making the price lower. Now, additionally, be sure to compare apples to apples when it comes to net numbers. What I mean is most sales that you're going to find on Zillow and some of these other real estate websites included various concessions that came out of the seller's proceeds or even fees such as commissions, title and escrow, and maybe other buyer closing costs in many cases. So if you're looking to save money on some of these fees by selling the home yourself, you'll want to understand that a savvy buyer is also going to want these savings passed on to them when they make an offer. So keep in mind that the price listed on Zillow won't necessarily be what the seller actually netted in their pocket and therefore not necessarily the best way to price your home just because it may look similar in the photos. Now, the third thing that I would do is make sure I understand all of the paperwork, because if you're going to do all the work to fix up your home, research pricing strategies and deal with the hassles that come from selling a home, you're going to want to make sure that the home actually sells, but more importantly, that you don't incur any legal troubles later by not understanding the process. Things such as how to professionally write an offer or a counter offer to include timelines, address various contingencies, and things like inspections or appraisals um, can be pretty important. But most importantly though, you'll want to understand the legal disclosure requirements in your area and make sure to avoid any pitfalls and liability. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to create demand through marketing. Let's face it, price is simply a function of supply and demand. Think back to Economics 101. So it makes sense the more demand you create on the home, the more money you're going to be able to net. So start with a digital marketing strategy, such as listing the home online as as many different websites as possible. Make sure that it shows in the best light as these sites are going to need to have professional photography at a bare minimum. And additional marketing such as virtual tours, 3D floor plans, even lifestyle videos are also proven to create more demand on your home and they're going to help separate your property from the hundreds or even thousands of others um, that buyers have available to look at online. Now, once you have your marketing set up, you're going to want to be sure that you're driving traffic to these websites so that you can gain the most exposure. Platforms such as social media, Google, YouTube, and even local ads in community-specific mediums such as uh, Facebook groups or Nextdoor apps, things of that nature, can be helpful to advertise on and help bring buyers uh, to view your online listing. Now lastly, you're going to want to have a system in place to help you easily show the home to prospective buyers. Dealing with calls and inquiries can be time consuming and frustrating as not all these buyers that are going to reach out can actually afford your home. You want to be sure to have a way to vet the prospective buyers before you just open up your home to all the looky loo neighbors and frankly strangers from the internet. So the one suggestion I would have is to go ahead and partner with a local lender perhaps who can help you get pre-qualified buyers for the loan and make sure that they actually get vetted and can afford your property. A lender is also going to be able to verify and confirm their contact details and identity so that you'll have a better sense of security knowing who's actually coming in and out of your property. 
So these are just some of my top tips on how you can actually sell your home on your own and avoid paying agent commissions. That said, every situation is different. So if you'd like to chat with me in more detail about how to maximize your exposure, limit your liability, just give me a call. My direct number is 602-502-6468. I'll be happy to chat with you, offer you advice, and I won't give you a sleazy sales pitch just trying to get you to list with me. Again, my number is 602 502-6468. Thanks for watching.